I am the greatest. Someone with power! Someone with power! What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Vici, and today um, we got a new series, and it's going to be S&D Tips and Tricks. Um, now, the recording did start late. My Elgato, like, screwed up, so you're going to be probably 30 or to 40 seconds into the first round, and I'm just going to walk you through what's going through my mind during these situations and scenarios, and um, hopefully it'll help you improve as a player and uh, make your S&D game top-notch. So, hope you guys enjoy, and let's get right into it. So, I was waiting for this guy to run by, um, I knew he was going to flank, because this is the second map, and these guys flanked every time. Now, of course, I do make a spectacular play and pick up the three-piece, which was quite surprising. But I knew the guy was going to flank, picked him up, and my teammate called out one on bomb, and so I challenged, just so happened to see both of them, and ended up picking up both kills. So that situation was all call-outs and knowing what my opponents were doing from the previous game and how they played. These guys like to play one person would roam around and the other two would stick together. So um, I used the M8 uh, A A7 on this map um, with the RK5 just because Infection is such a long range map. I think it's very key to you know use a long range weapon. So here I, I call out two mid. I know there's two there. So they're most likely going A. If no. If, the other guy could be B, but two of them are on A side, and if this dude is B, I know my teammates will pick it up, and we'll be able to m push forward. I get a call out from my teammate saying that, you know, two cross over to A, so I'm looking for him. Maybe if they plant the bomb, one will run out this door. That's what good players do. These guys we were playing were not that good, um, and I do, luckily, switch weapons and don't get caught switching weapons, and I'm picking the final kill. Now, the reason here my teammate drops the bomb is because I'm close to streaks. I already have an RCXD, and... If I get the 100 points for defusing the bomb, I'm going to be only 200 points away from getting the rest of my streaks, which is a major game changer. So, we go up 2-0. I'm 4-0. I've yet to die. And I'm feeling very confident. Um, and when I get confident in S&D, I like to just hit stuff and just rush. Now, I like to play S&D with the mindset that you're the best player in the world. That's what I would give anyone who's struggling. Play like you're the best in the world. Play confident, and you will see, you know... Uh, good things will come so uh third round's gonna start i've talked to my teammates i think we hit uh b this round i could be wrong yeah we hit b um i put flat jacket when i go on this side reason being is because i know for certain that they're going to uh cross or not cross but they're going to uh nade you i mean it's good players will nade you and you can nade right over that tree if you look at the top uh corner of my screen top um, you can easily get that nade kill. Now, I gotta get bombed down. My teammate calls one on the flank, or not on the flank, in their spawn, and he dies. He ends up challenging, dies, but it's no big deal. I gotta get my streaks, so I'm 100 points away. I use Psychosis, smart, very smart move. Kill that guy mid, and I know the other dude's gonna be pushing, and I pick up two kills. There's still one guy left. I'm expecting him to flank. I do have full streaks, however. My teammate dies, calls him out, and I pick up the third. Very good calls for my teammates. It might look like I'm doing most of the work, but they are truly helping me get those kills. Um, I'm not just getting those kills on my own. Their communication and callouts are what's allowing me to get in a position to earn those kills. So, um, we go up 3-0. Now, in competitive S&D, it's first to six rounds. That's who wins. So, we're up 3-0. That's a good start. And I help full streaks. And we're on defense. I believe that defense, you should never lose it. And um, this round, I... Don't know if I use my RC. I think I wait, and um, we're going to push up. I'm going to rush, play aggressive. I told him I was going to go A because I just had a feeling, you know, that this guy was going to come A again. Now, I'm just waiting. This is a very good head glitch to sit on. It's almost impossible for them to see you first unless they have a thermal sniper, but none of you guys have been sniping, so I was willing to push up and challenge. So my teammate at B is taking fire. I see two red dots on the mini-map, and I know... They're either going to rotate or flank. My teammate's on B-bomb. If they push him, he has a Vesper. He's easily going to get at least one kill. And these guys have been known for rotating. Um, first map, they rotated every time we killed them at a certain bond site. They went to the other. So I'm just playing extremely patient. That's another key. Being patient is a major key to success for Search and Destroy. Um, and right there, I pick up the one kill, expecting the other guy to be by him because they have been sticking together and holding hands all game. Um, I assumed he was going to be lapping around further, and I happened to be right and push spawn and see him and melt him with my M8. 
So, once again, this is sort of like map awareness as well. Um, <coughs> knowing my teammate has B and they haven't pushed up, they can only be on that side of the map. There's no way they got behind me because if they did, they would have planted. And it's basically, you want to shrink the map and control the map so you know, in a sense, where they are. So we go up 4-0. Um, got full streaks. Almost have an RC car again. I'm 50 points away. So you know what? I'm like, or am I? I'm 10 points away. So one kill or an assist will help me get uh, another RC car. So I'm not going to waste it and overlap the RC cars. If I can get two, I'm going to use two. So I see a mid. Um, I don't really get many kills with the RC, but I notice all three are A, and I call that out to my team. So they can get bombed down B is what I'm letting them know right now as they need middle. Hopefully maybe one of them rushed B to try to, you know, pick it off. Um, I go middle. I pick that guy off at the top uh, truck, top tank pick up this guy and the other dude kills me from the left now that is going to be my first and only death of this game it is a 1v1 scenario so we know he's middle and he's either going to flank this way or through the spawn he can only come one of three ways my teammate gets very lucky timing wise right here i believe he checks bomb gets an eyesight and he will one burst him as he walks around the corner um kind of timing right there 1v1s are actually all timing some skill when it comes to a gunfight but usually there's not a gunfight involved usually it's someone catching the other person off guard that's one reason i don't play singles i don't feel like there's many gunfights you just rush up the middle map if you don't see him good luck so now we go up 5-0 the game is in the bag it's almost impossible to come back from a 5-0 deficit so you know what i'm gonna use all of my streaks and everything because you know this rounds automatic we got defense I have full streaks no way they're winning so it takes 15 seconds for your streaks to activate um, I throw a nade B long and I end up getting hit markers so we know they're going B at least one is so I'm waiting I got one second left to call in my hellstorm I call it in I see two B one top rock and one bottom I end up killing one of them my teammate I called him out so my teammate should be picking up the kills one of my teammates dies, but it's okay, it's still a 2v2, and we have an idea of where they were, or are, due to my call out for the, um, with the airstrike, lightning strike. So now there's one more, I see him top grannies, and perfect shots end up knocking a dude down. So, we went 6-0, I went 13-1, and and hopefully this video, guys, will, you know, help you improve your search and destroy game. It has been your boy, Vici. Follow my, make sure you please like and subscribe and follow my Twitch and Twitter. Those links are down below. And I'm out. False Peace. The assets degraded. Full metal everything.